Okay, so my brand new Acer's screen is not working anymore. It sort of follows the mouse a little bit and then will cut off in certain spots. So I'm going to try to fix it by opening it and see what we can do with it. Okay, the first things you need to do is to actually pop off the side bezel. So you can do that by just lifting up on a certain portion of it. See if I can do it here and it'll start snapping apart and you just work your way around by pushing down while you're going around it now don't forget to remove these parts where the two little nubs are and you can do that by inserting a small screwdriver I used a small jeweler screwdriver to put it take them out and you push down in it and it'll pop right up Okay, once you get the bezel off, it looks something like this. You can see where the uh, actual uh, touchscreen uh, wires are. Since this is a multi-touch screen, it has a ton of them. Alright, this is the connector we need to work on. There's a little tiny strip of tape that you need to take up in order to get to it. I'll put it right over here. And then there's screws on this corner, this corner, this corner and this corner that we'll need to remove, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, now we need to flip this up in order to uh, get at that. Now that it's loose, you can lift the uh, whole unit up. I pull it up on that side, I slip it out just a little bit. I'm not going to go the whole way because I'd rather leave these all these connect cables connected here. So, you can flip up and actually clean the connectors that are in here, but the trick to this is going to be is to get it tight into that connector, so whenever you're doing it next time, you need to, we're going to need to slide it in hard and over the screw a little bit, pop it down, put the tape on, and then tighten the screw. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that, and I'll see you in a few. Okay, I've snapped that connector back in, so... Let's just push it down once you tighten, pull the thing in, and then push it down. While doing this, I noticed something else I needed to do. And that is to actually put these screws, unloosen these screws. There's two of them down here, and they're probably pretty hard to see right now, so let me pull that around. There's another screw right there, my thumb is. Unscrew those screws. And when you're up here putting that thing back in, push it as tight as you can on top and make sure you're pushing down on the things and then snap it down. It'll start to work then. And as you can see, let me grab the stylus so it's easier to see. Now it's working all the way across the screen. No problem. Alright, now I'm going to put it back together and uh, sure to tighten those screws down here back up after you make the adjustment. Alright, popping this part back in is pretty easy. Just go around pushing back into the sides where it's supposed to go. Once that's done, you're going to have to put these two screws back in. Just kind of look at the screen, pop it up and, and see where the spots aren't connected perfectly. Make sure this all still works. It does. Alright, it's back together and it's easy enough to test by going across the screen like this.